requested. It was a look I done in May, and it's the smoky, purpley, glitter, glittery goodness um, makeup look that I did of the day. And it was requested to do a look um, in tutorial form. It's using this um, LA Colors Trio, which is just all purple. Uh, if you guys are interested in this tutorial, then please continue to watch. I already primed with the e.l.f. eyelid primer. And next, I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Oyster. Which is a really like pale, like purpley, pinkish looking color. More on the purple side though. I'm just applying that to the lid. Nowhere else, just the lid. Then I'm going to blend that in. The eyeshadows I'm going to be using um, to start the tutorial off is from LA Colors. This particular trio has three purple shades in there. And the names of those are Juicy Plum, Sour Grape, and Eggplant. So the first one I'm going to be taking is this one right here. On just an elf shader brush and I'm going to pat that in And then, next is going to be this shade right here on a big fluffy brush. This is the Smoky Eye Duo from Walmart. And just getting that on the brush. And we're going to use that to help blend the edges of that last shadow. as well as completely bring it into the crease. Just using windshield wiper motions. Okay. Um, with this small end that looks like a pencil brush or some kind of like a tapered crease brush, I'm going to be taking the darkest shade in there and getting that pretty thickly in the brush. And I'm going to start bringing that into the crease a bit. No particular, it doesn't have to be neat right now, but I'm not bringing it all the way in either, just to right here. And then up on the edges of that shadow we placed. Just like that. When we blend it out, it will look nice. But just in this little area here. Patting that on as well. To get the most color payoff out of that one. Then with the fluffy side, just go in and blend all those shadows together. And we're going to apply a black, which is Brom Jordana. And this is called Blackjack. It's just a basic black. It's not very dark, but we're going to be taking it on that same brush we took the darkest purple on, though. 
I'm going to try to pick it up pretty heavily. But it's not going to be very dark. Um, and that's just going to go right in the creased area to darken it up just a tad bit more. And that one is going to be carried over a little bit further into the crease. See? We're definitely going to go ahead and start blending those. Now once you have this, um, your basic shape and the eyeshadow and everything, before I do the highlight, I'm going to wipe off that end of that brush. Just really quickly go back in with that darkest purple and I'm going to drag that along the lash line. Connect it with your outer corner. You really don't want some really freaky looking blank spot there because um, it will help connect your eyeshadow. So I'll just amount to right there. And then for the highlight, I'm taking a super big fluffy um, brush from this um, Ulta palette. This is not an Ulta shadow, but it's in my little palette, makeshift palette. It's right here. It's an opal shadow, which means that it's like a pinkish, purpley, white toned color. And I love this as highlights when I use um, purple eyeshadows. And I'm going to start by petting that. And then I'm just going to start blending the shadows down. This color looks amazing with purples. Um, I use it all the time when I use purple shadows. I'm also going to take a little teensy bit of that, apply that right there in that inner corner, and then a little and apply it to the rest of the lower lash line. Okay. okay. Since I already have my glitter mixed, I will show you what I use to mix it. Which is the same thing I always use when I use glitter. And that is the Sally Glitter, um, Sally Girl Sparkle Effects Gel Adhesive for Glitter. And this stuff is amazing. It's never creased on me either. I just, um, it, when you apply it, it is wet. So I just close my eye and like fan it so it'll dry. Um, quickly without making an eyeshadow crease and it is, it's always worked it's never creased on me so um, I'm super excited about that um, so I love this stuff for 99 cents so I used that I put some in the mixing palette here and then from my glitter stack I used the really light purple I don't know if that's coming off true to color but it's this one and it's just in there mixed together and I used a low Cornell brush so this is a painting brush um, and I just used that to get the glitter all in there and then I just come and I apply it and this glitter is going on the lid only get it on your eyeliner if you want it doesn't matter okay and that's all for the eyes that was that pretty purpley glitter sparkly um smoky eye I did in the pictures in May and then for my lips I only have a gloss on it's from this 
Ella Collars um, Lip Duo, and it's just in purple. But it it looks like that, and then um, it has like no color payoff pretty much. It's huge. Thank you guys for watching.